That brings us to the end of the section on structural instabilities. We have certainly not covered all kinds of instabilities, but we have discussed some of the most commonly seen ones. In a nutshell, the excess kinetic energy leads to dynamic instabilities and excess internal energy leads to buckling instability. Depending on the type of instability, we'll need to either add additional stiffness or dampers to the system to fix the instability. We have also seen some interesting examples of instabilities and how are they resolved by making changes to the design. The key message from this discussion is how to use different analysis to identify the areas that need design changes and then taking the appropriate action. With that, we'll conclude this discussion on structural instability.